The intrigues are intriguing. Yeah. Jason Lannister is marshalling to the west. We need to check I don't care what people say about this show. It is not great. It is so haphazard. Half of the actors are good and the other <laughs> half suck. Half of the directing is okay and the other half sucks. Like, it is not cohesive. It is not consistent. You know? And we're just... Can I say, though... Go ahead. The first season... A lot better, in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, I agree. And I think that like I think it's it's not it's not specifically the show, but this season has been a lot of up and downing, you know. I think that's the important thing of having a strong central character. And if you don't have a strong central character, then it is your j job as the showrunner to have a strong central theme that carries through through the different stories of the different characters. Which is why it worked in Game of Thrones. Right. Game of Thrones worked yeah, because, because every time you switch to another character, whether it was Arya Stark, whether it was whoever the heck, uh, Tyrion Lannister, each character had a strong arc and, it, and, and, and there was a theme in general that was carrying it forward. And that's what this season right. needs because it doesn't have Viserys. Last season we had Viserys and it worked just fine because... We could follow him the whole way yeah. through. Like he was the he was the unifying thing. He was carrying the show literally, and now exactly. and now you no, literally you, he was. So I, it it really annoys me because it's like there's things that I like about what they're doing and there's things that I hate about what they're doing and it just drives me nuts. Reaches really well. The one thing that I can give them is the one thing I can give them is that even though I don't think it's uh, like something they wanted the mess that this season feels is uh, you know reflecting the mess that the families are in right now you know like the, the whole production and how and, and the actors and the story is also is messy just how the relationships are messy in the show right now. I, I get what you're and trying to And everything was in order last season because Patty was there and Viserys was there unifying everything. I, I, you know, it's kind of ironic in that sense. Yeah. But I definitely don't it's, think it's... It's ironic, but it's wanted. not on purpose. Is, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, for sure. It's like it The is, Witcher. It is funny, It's though. like The Witcher. Like, the first season was pretty good. Then the second season was like, eh, meh. And then by the third season, you're like, what yeah. the hell's going on with the show? And it's like it's unraveling and it's falling apart. However, I did listen. Yeah. I did listen to uh, this this person that I ran into on YouTube. Um, okay. Who uh, he's a judge. He had a show on CBS, and he talked about how these people make more money on shows flopping than actually doing well. Because they steal a lot of the, How? they steal a lot of the money when the when the show goes bad, they make it disappear. Let's let's just oh let's, wow yeah I was like oh you really yeah I was like wow. you just dropped that information dude that's you know because he's older now he don't give a shit so yeah so so damn. I think Thank the Witcher you, I think the Witcher was sabotaged I think um, I think the the people behind it sabotaged it on purpose talk shit about Henry Cavill and stuff. So that they could just steal that money. Yeah, and, uh, like you know, I don't. He he, he like Henry Cavill is amazing. I don't give a shit about yeah what anybody says. In yeah. the sense, professionally, he always takes roles very seriously, and he's always very professional on set. Yeah, and everything. So it's fucking disgusting that they use the projects that people care about so much just to make money but that's out of it like even even the actors care about it and you guys are eating up all the money off of it just sinking it sinking it like it's of course it's gonna disgusting of course it's really gonna, disgusting yeah it attracts th that industry attracts the worst people <laughs> i finished with the riverland scum the red fork oh one. i love that there's the lion they bring a you lot you know you don't know this you don't know this, but the Lannisters symbol is a lion 
because they literally like how the Targaryens have their pits with the dragons, they also have their pits with the lions. That's kind of cool. They have lions. That's yeah. kind of and his armor's kind of uh, cool. Look at that. Look at the hall at once. I want you to send a raven to King's Landing. Tell my brother we are ready to march. Wait. Oh yeah, true. Because this one and the other one are also twins. I did the, not There's know. another set of twins. I in this. did not know that. Um, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the one, the one that's the master of coin, that's one of the siblings. Then this one is like the more, uh, you know, ah. soldier sibling. But this time I feel. And he's been going around. Got it. With the with the military but this time i feel that this For is the it's the same actor it's not like they're these aren't twin actors like the other guys that i don't know yeah I think i'm it's, gonna it's check that out guy. too but it does look like the same person yeah, the same like guy. Eamon is able to join us he's like what the heck we will make an alliance with the triarch i've had enough of this cursed brigade. oh no my prince what? That the free cities. Why? Captains of their ships are dangerous mercenaries. They're literally hiring savages. So you're you're saying that he? Would... I don't I don't like to use I don't like to use that word, but they're not they're not unorganized. He would just be unleashing a a, pro, a bigger problem, is what you're saying. Yeah, because you you can't control them. So I don't know how smart it is to ask for help from the people you just pushed away not too long ago you know what i mean yeah but aemon thinks he's invincible because he has vagar and that's that's where he's coming from with everything so i i agree with you but i'm saying like the reason aemon's being a more a, a, a bitch is because he thinks he's yeah, no, like, he just killed freaking rainice and her her dragon and her, her his own brother's dragon so he thinks he's invincible right now so that's what's going on like i get it but that's stupid yeah an offer of marriage, perhaps, to the Dowager Queen. Out of the question. Wow. Alas. Really? The My uncle is a challenge I welcome. If he dares face me. <laughs> Come on. Your grace. And I, why do we care about Harrenhal? Like, at the end of the day, why is it important to even capture it? Because of its location? Because it's the biggest, it's, it's the location. And it's the biggest castle. I would have thought the phrase are more important. Well, the phrase are important for travel. But once you've traveled, if, what, what's the objective here? They have to close in on Rhaenyra and Dragonstone. So since it's a peninsula, it's easier for them to close in at Harrenhal, which is the biggest uh in general it's the biggest castle in all uh westeros but it's also a really big stronghold right next to the peninsula that rainier is controlling and dragonstone so even with the dragons they're kind of locked out they're on their own you're you're stopping their forces on foot from going anywhere in westeros because you have them cornered and okay. i think because the reason they are also asking for the triarchy is because first of all of the blockade that <clears throat> is uh, stopping the food from from getting to uh, king's landing thank you um, and so they need a triarchy to get rid of that, but also that would match the only other way Rainier could, you know, run anywhere or do anything, which is through, through the sea. So you're stopping them on land, you're stopping them on sea, and so they can't, it's basically the same thing that they're trying to do with Harrenhal. They're, they're clamping their adversaries and they're stopping them so where it, they so are. So it sounds like Damon so has... they have the upper hand. So it sounds like Eamon has the right idea. 
yeah, like it, it is a good idea mm -hmm. for what they have to do. It's just very risky okay. and difficult to actually do because of the players involved. You served the realm well. The time of need. That need is ended. You are no longer obliged. Wow. It's not a matter of obligation, this voice. more than enough of those if you ask really? me. Really? You have the impetuousness of use. He just fired his own mother? He just fucking fired his own mother. How do you even do that? Wow, dude. That's... I can't... I wouldn't be able to do that to my That's mom. That's stupid. No fucking way. Like, he... Of a of everyone should be the one listening to his mother. All right, Corliss, what do you got, man? <laughs> Let Cor us know. Corliss, and again, just based on the little bit that I had looked into, Corliss is a very good character. And not like good as a, I don't mean it good as a person, even though he is. Like, he's an interesting character. But this guy does, I'm sorry, this actor doesn't do him justice. You know what I mean? I just, he feels like, he feels like he's on vacation. Yeah. Like he's just like, <sighs> you know, like he's not in the. Yeah, he's very, he's way too blissful for somebody who's in the middle of a war. Yeah, like this is this is your moment, bro. Come on. If anyone needs help, it's Rhaenyra. Damn it. I'm not talking. Yeah, I'm not talking about the character. I'm talking about her, the actress. Yeah. She's yeah, dr yeah, yeah. she's dry and stiff. I don't believe Rhaenyra is supposed to be dry and stiff. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I don't think there's so. Some, there's some off about it. Your grandmother's grandmother. I don't understand her whole approach. Sorry. Sorry to stop it again. What but do you mean? Like, she talks as if she's asking him. Like, you're the queen. You need to make decisions. Look at what we just saw Eamon do, right? Like, Eamon's like, I'm, you're going to do this and you're going to do that. And he didn't give a flying fuck what anybody had to say. And don't get me wrong. I'm not agreeing with him. I'm just saying... That's the way you need to talk when you're in command. You don't need to be yeah. explaining shit to him. Tell him, like, I found out that you have this royal blood. I need more dragon riders. I need you to give it a try. Period. Like, there's no... You don't yeah. need to convince him. You need to tell him what to do. Yeah, I think, I think it's... She's trying to convey how insecure she is about this. Because she is herself. But she can't be insecure but about I it. But I do, but I, exactly, exactly, that's the thing, like, not in front of your council who already doesn't support your decisions. <sighs> right, right. You know? Yeah, I find it annoying. Uh-oh, uh-oh, are we still having dreams? Yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> Demon Targaryen asking for help. Council. <laughs> That girl is something else, man. What's your prediction? Do you think the dragon will take him or is going to burn him? <laughs> I think he's going to burn him. Aww. Super hard, too. I mean, grandmother's grandmother was a Targaryen? Damn, you're so close. You're totally a Targaryen yourself. I do like how her son stands by her. Very different from Aemon and Alicent, right? The way they raise kids is completely different. Dude, you can't be insecure. You either believe the dragon's gonna take you or you know you're gonna die. I do like the chanting. That was really cool. I do like that aspect of what they're yeah. doing here. Really, really, really ominous. Omin in way, ominous and spiritual like in the sense of like it's like they're calling they're yeah. singing out to the dragon calling to its spirit i like it. do not show fear that's what i just said like that's like the obvious part like <laughs> i mean i get it it's you either at that point you're either all in or all out the boss. Uh, holy this shit dude? holy shit is he gonna do it is he gonna do it oh my god we don't know. Stop looking back, dude! He's giving him a chance. It's so tense, though. Come on, dude. Come on, man. <laughs> you called it. You called it, didn't you? Didn't you? I told you. That was, that was so weird. <laughs> it, like, there's no way it could have happened. Come on. There's no way because he was too fearful, right? There's no way a dragon's going to fucking... Yeah. That's almost disrespectful. It's a connection thing. 
right? So. Oh, and the. And you the, can be fucking. The other weak. guy got burned because he was next to him. That didn't work. Oh my god, that must have that must have been that must have been a pain in the ass to shoot. Getting the 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 fire, the pyrotechnics. Oh my god, that's a, that's oh, stuff. Oh yeah. That stuff is so dangerous and so much work, but amazing, amazingly done. Oh god, I'm so bored with this. Hello. I don't know what's going on here, and I and I I don't even care. Oh, this fucking guy. Oh, maybe he he'll be a dragon rider. Bit oh, city. why? Because isn't he Targaryen? I mean, he's he says he is, but he's a blabbermouth. Do you believe it? I think he's a blabbermouth. I think he's full of sh like you know, as a person, he's full of shit. But I do think that you know, like that he is half Targaryen or some shit like that. I do think that it just happens to be that that thing is true. We may yet retake. Thank you. Honestly, slapping him was a nice thing because I wanted to crush his face. And yeah. Why didn't you teach me to fight, Daddy? This girl is the most, the best thing she's got going on at her council. Okay. Honestly, this, this is her small council. Yeah, it's just the no, two. No. <laughs> yeah. It's you just know? The, it's just the two of them. Like, just the two yeah. of us. Ding, ding. Um, did you notice that Rhaenyra is, is, <laughs> yeah, Sorry. You know, no, Sorry. you're right. Sorry. You notice that Rhaenyra is suddenly dressed in black? It, that's a new development, right? Yeah, she used to dress a whole lot of, more in red, but I think it's showing her trying to put her father behind and her old <clears throat> life behind. The intrigues are intriguing. Yeah. 